please all stand and let us pray the Angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour, Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, hearts that, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, Christ your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Mary, help of Christians. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Good morning. Welcome to the shrine of St. John Bosco the Dreamer. Together with our personal intentions, we also include the following. For the gift of life and birthday intentions of Aspirant Rex Rada, Mark Jason, Sean Godwin, John Kent, Sean Henry, Kyle I Adrian, Isidor, RJ Ferrer, Cynthia Baga, and of Ignatius Frankie. Thanksgiving Mass in honor of San Senor Santo Nino, Mama Mary, Saint Joseph, Saints Peter and Paul, Our Lady of Manawag, and of San Pedro Calungsod, and for all the graces received, good health, peace of mind, and continued guidance. Thanksgiving for all the blessings received, offered by Dunilo, Dulino's family. Thanksgiving Mass for all the blessings received, offered by Emma Bas, Sanchez, and family for the healing recovery and good health of Princess Diane Altejos, Dolores Saison, Oscar Kilo, Jesus Acababat, and of Virgilio, for the intentions of Remjel Luzano, Paolo Altejos and family, Brian, Erickson, Arkin, Joseph, Maristila Counts, Mary Jane, and of Leia, for more good and holy vocations to the priestly and religious life. For the, for the eternal repose of the souls of Cesar Zabate, Franz Ivan D., Charles Wong, Juvelin Ibanez, Ramon Mendoza, Alberta Sayahon Baraka, Rebo Mapil, Govinal Villanueva, Felipe T. Caballero, Faustino, Rogelio, Celestina, Ireneo, Arsenia, Jorfel, Anacorita, Glicerio, Barbara, Pablo Sumandig, Zenaida Sotes, Nestor Sotes, Dante Saison, Priscilla Saison, Tito Rodriguez, Sabiniano Sumandig, Florencio Eleonor, Remedios Danilo, Francisco, Ines Felimon, Priscilliano, Martillina, Innocencio Jesusa, Andrea, Christer Nicole, and for the eternal repose of the souls in purgatory. Please all stand.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We are now on the seventh Sunday in ordinary time. And this coming week, we shall also have begin the season of Lent, the celebration of Ash Wednesday, this coming Wednesday. We pray in this Holy Mass for our personal and community intentions as we also offer our prayers of praise and thanksgiving to the Lord who continues to bless us, who continues to have His presence felt among us. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that always pondering spiritual things, we may carry out in both word and deed that which is pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Leviticus. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the whole Israelite community and tell them, Be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy. You shall not bear hatred for your brother or sister in your heart. Though you may have to reprove your fellow citizen, do not incur sin because of him. Take no revenge and cherish no grudge against any of your people. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. The word of the Lord. the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Blessed Lord, and merciful, the Lord is He pardons all your iniquities, heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction, crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord is kind. And merciful, the Lord is kind and merciful. Merciful and gracious is the Lord. Slow to anger and abounding in kindness. Not according to our sins does he duel with us, nor does he requite us according to our crimes. The Lord is kind. And 
transgressions for us as a father has compassion on his children so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him the Lord is sky and merciful the Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. The reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person. For the temple of God, which you are, is holy. Let no one deceive himself. If anyone among you considers himself wise in this age, let him become a fool, so as to become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness in the eyes of God, for it is written, God catches the wise in their own roses. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. So let no one boast about human beings, for everything belongs to you. Paul, or Apollos, or Cephas, or the world, or life, or death, or the present, or the future, all belongs to you, and you to Christ, and Christ to God. The word of the Lord. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, Offer no resistance to one who is evil. When someone strikes you on your right cheek, Turn the other one as well. If anyone wants to go to law with you over your tunic, Hand over your cloak as well. Should anyone press you into service for one mile, go for two miles. Give to the one who asks of you, and do not turn your back on one who wants to borrow. You have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your heavenly Father, for he makes his sun rise on the bad and the good, and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brothers only, what is unusual about that? Do not the pagans do the same? So be perfect, shows that your heavenly Father is perfect. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Some years ago, there was a song entitled, Who Says You Can't Be a Saint, which was composed and performed by two Salesian clerics in the U.S., and they called themselves Bosco Boys. And the message that they convey through the song is to answer the question, which is also the title of the song, Who Says You Can't Be a Saint? Well, the lyrics of the song goes like this. There is holiness in the everyday. I know that I can prove it. Going to school, going to church, cook some dinner, a job as a clerk, just keep it up. Do your duties well and let him do the work. Times are rough, got to get up no matter how rough. Saints are nothing but a sinner who never gave up. I will never give up like them. I can, you can, we can, everybody rise up. They are re-echoing what St. John Bosco was inviting the youth some years back. Holiness is for all, even for young people. You shall be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy. This is what we heard in today's first reading from the book of Leviticus. This reminds us in so many words that we are made in the image and likeness of the God who is all holy. We are invited to imitate God's holiness, especially in the way we treat others. Just as God is forgiving and hates no one, we must strive to do the same. We must love others as much as we love ourselves. And in the Gospel, our Lord Jesus invites everyone, re-echoing these words in the first reading by saying, Be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. Maybe we can ask ourselves, what is God like? What is the nature of God's perfection? As Jesus said in today's gospel, your Father in heaven makes his Son rise on the evil and on the good and sends rain on the righteous and on the unrighteous. Well, we might ask, the sun shines. Why? Because it is the nature of the sun. And that's all the sun knows how to do. But does the sun say, let me check first if you are worthy of my warmth and light? No, it just shines on both the good people, 
like the saints who we know, but it also shines on the bad people too. God makes His sun shine on both the good and the bad alike. This is because God's love is not something that is given out according to our own human criteria of justice. Uh, that person deserves the divine love, or maybe that one is not because he is not a good person. That is how we think and operate. But God's love is not something that is conditional. I will love you because, I will love you in the measure that, I will love you under these conditions. This is how we creatures love each other. But our Lord Jesus is teaching us to go beyond our human criteria of living and loving. He invites us all to be like God, to be perfect, to be loving as God loves. God causes the rain to fall on the just and the unjust. This is the nature of God. God is love. He does not play the game of conditioned love. And we as followers of our Lord are meant to be perfect as our Heavenly Father is perfect, to love as God loves. Maybe we can ask ourselves, how can we live this? This seems to be very difficult and challenging for us mere human beings. Jesus gave practical applications through these challenging statements in today's gospel. If anyone strikes you on the right cheek, turn the other cheek also. And if anyone wants to sue you and take your coat, give your cloak as well. And if anyone forces you to go one mile, go also the second mile. And another one is this, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. These words of our Lord Jesus today, my dear brothers and sisters, is probably one of the most difficult teachings for us. A spiritual writer said that when Jesus said, love your enemies, he is saying essentially that love is an act of the will and not a feeling. So we don't have to feel good about our enemies, but we do have the will to do good, or we have to will good to them. We don't have to experience nice feelings about those who are actively opposed to us, but we do have the will, at least, their healing and salvation. Just like when our Lord was hanging on the cross, He surely did not experience any loving feeling towards His executioners, but He willed them good by saying, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And because of Jesus' forgiving love, he changed the hearts of his enemies. So when we interact with those who hate or persecute us, let us try to see Christ in each person. Pray so that we can be kind to them and start with small acts of kindness. And once we begin by praying and practicing small acts of kindness, we will soon forget that they are not fond of us. When all is said and done, perhaps our small acts of kindness will change their hearts and they will be touched by the light of Christ through us. Jesus never said it is going to be easy, but He does show us the way. He will give us His grace. Brothers and sisters, our Lord Jesus challenges all of us to be holy to be perfect, to love as God the Father loves. His word today challenges us to truly love, to sincerely forgive, and go beyond our natural inclination to hit and hurt back. Later, when we pray the Lord's Prayer and reach the point when we pray, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, let us ask the Father, for the grace and strength to truly love and to sincerely forgive. As St. John Bosco and the many saints has invited us, we can be saints, we can be holy. How? By loving as God loves.
Let us all stand as we profess our faith in our loving and merciful God. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Today, Jesus has reminded us of our duty to love every human being, including those who reject and hurt us. Aware of our weakness in living up to this challenging commandment, we implore God's help as we say, Lord, teach us to love as you love. Lord, teach us to love as you love. For the church, the herald and instrument of God's universal love, may she lead in tirelessly promoting peace and cooperation among all peoples. Let us pray. Lord, teach, teach us, us to love, love as you love. love. For the Holy Father, the bishops, and all the leaders of the different Christian denominations, may they always be shining examples of reconciliation, forgiveness, and sincere love for all. Let us pray. Lord, Lord teach, teach us to love as you love. love. For our political, social, and educational leaders, May they champion in all sincerity the harmony and collaboration that are indispensable for the creation of a peaceful and progressive society. Let us pray. Lord, teach us to love as you love. For all those who find it difficult to forgive their offenders, may they persevere in their efforts to forgive and find in God's grace the strength they need to do so. Let us pray. Lord, teach, teach us, us to love as, as you love. For the youth of our country who are eager for justice and progress, may they always remember that true progress and justice can be attained only if our plans are inspired and supported by active love and the rejection of violence and retaliation. Let us pray. Lord, Lord teach, teach us, us to love as you as love. love. For our families and parish community, may our behavior be characterized by sincerity and openness toward all and readiness to forgive those who may have wronged us. Let us pray. Lord, teach us to love as you love. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray. Lord, teach us to love as God of all love and forgiveness, grant that we may never yield to the temptations of violence and retaliation, and that all our thoughts, plans, and actuations may be inspired by a Christ-like love. We ask this in the name of Jesus, the Lord. Please be seated. We shall now have the send of right of our AB Religious Education and Pastoral Communication student teachers. We ask them to please come forward as their name is called. Aspirant Jules Anthony Bagay. Aspirant Julieto Cosep Jr. Aspirant Glenn Brian Hustado. 
Aspirant El Nino Ricafort Ladion. Aspirant Rene Lagria. Aspirant Generic Lambong. Aspirant Olsen Pasahol. Aspirant J. Sahurga. Miss CJ Cabunilas. Dear friends in Christ, these AB Religious Education and Pastoral Communication students will be sent off as student teachers. We pray that they will be guided by the Holy Spirit as they learn and apply whatever they have acquired during their years of study. As religious education student teachers, they will be sharing in the church's work of evangelization, especially to the young students entrusted to their care. We pray for them in silence. Please all stand. With your fatherly blessing, Lord, strengthen these servants of yours who will be sent off as religious education student teachers. Grant that they will strive to share with others what they derive from pondering your word and let them gladly join those they teach in honoring and serving your name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall now bless the crucifixes. We shall now have the blessing of crucifixes that will be given to these student teachers. Holy Lord, Almighty Father, Eternal God, bless these crucifixes that they become saving help to mankind. Let them be bulwarks of faith, encouragement to good works, the redemption of souls. And may they be consolation, protection, and shield against the cruel darts of the enemy. Through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. Let the signs of Christ's love and of our faith bring Christ to wherever you go and whoever you meet and teach. Let's now welcome them with our applause.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is your due, we humbly ask you that what we offer to the honor of your majesty may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from an ending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mm -hmm. 
the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope Jose, our bishop, Medifin Ruben, his auxiliary bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God and help of Christians, with Blessed Joseph, her most chaste pows, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. John Bosco, St. Francis de Sales, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray.
deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should, that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, but only, only say, say the, the word, word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Spiritual communion. O oh Jesus, I turn toward the holy tabernacle where you live hidden for love of me. I love you, O oh my God. I cannot receive you in holy communion. Come nevertheless and visit me with your grace. Come spiritually into my heart. Purify it. Sanctify it. Render it like unto your own. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we may experience the effects of the salvation which is pled to us by these mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall have the blessing of those who are celebrating their birthday today. Aspirant Rex, maybe others who are also celebrating their birthday to please come forward for a blessing. God of all creation, we offer you grateful praise for the gift of life. Hear the prayers of your servants who recall today the day of their birth and rejoice in your gifts of life and love, family and friends. Bless them with your presence and surround them with your love that they may enjoy many happy years, all of them pleasing to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Good morning. This coming Wednesday, February 22, 2023, will be the beginning of the Lenten season with the celebration of Ash Wednesday. The schedule of Mass during this day will be at 6 in the morning here in the shrine of St. John Bosco the Dreamer of Don Bosco Formation Center, Lawan. Ash Wednesday is also a day of universal fast and abstinence in the church. We invite everyone to begin this Lenten observance and join us in the Holy Mass. Thank you very much. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Look, on the, O Lord, on the prayers of your family and grant them the assistance they humbly implore so that strengthened by the help they need, they may persevere in confessing your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Let us go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God.